Turtle Kami, and you are on Pixel Gamer Girl YouTube channel, and I am going to make a thing called a witch's brew because I was asked very nicely to help with the Halloween uh, part of her 31 Days of Halloween, and I was asked to do witch stuff. So I figured getting a cocktail called Witch's Brew um, would be fun to do. It's a really simple, quick, quick recipe, and I'm all set up. And let's see if I can do this one handed again. So it is one ounce of vodka, which I'm gonna do this very gently. And come to find out, I don't do a lot of drinks. I do enjoy them, but I do not drink a lot. So I actually learned that one small shot glass is actually a, um, is, uh, <laughs> is one ounce. And I'm doing a double because I'm making two drinks and I am spilling and someone's gonna curse me now for spilling this not very cheap alcohol. All right, two. So two, 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 and there's my lemon. Okay, so that's two ounces because we're doubling it. And then it's a half an ounce, which is half a glass of lemon juice. But because I'm doubling it, I'm getting a full shot. Do, 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 do. And voila. And then I need four of these. Wish me luck. There's bartenders everywhere cursing my name because I do not do bartending. One. Oh, a little more. Ready. Two. This is raspberry liqueur. I'm not quite sure if I said it yet. But this is raspberry liqueur. <laughs> I, I, I space things, forgive me, y'all. Okay, raspberry liqueur. In the best bottle ever. Okay. Ooh, I'm shaky. Wow. Apparently, I should not be drinking this. All right. <laughs> now, it says you should have one teaspoon of silver. Um, mustard dust and that seems like a lot so and I just dropped it so I have to pause okay now that I just rewashed my um, teaspoon measuring uh, one teaspoon seems like so much so I'm actually only gonna do a half of one kind of a judgment call because I feel like I mean that that that's that's a that's a lot of dust so if I mess it up uh, I don't care, that, that, is, that is a lot of dust. So, and then they say one drop, which it's two, of food coloring. And I'm going with this as optional. One, two, woo. And now I'm gonna start, which this should look really cool. Yeah, two would be so shiny. This is pretty shiny as it is. Alrighty. Now, I do not have a proper mixer because I don't do cocktails very often. This is actually the first one I've made at home. And a few ice cubes because we have to. There we go. And half goes in each. Almost half. It smells amazing. I can tell you that much. And look how sparkly this is. Okay, now that I got the sprite open, the last thing is spray. Which, this is very heavy to be pouring one handed. I need an assistant. That's what I need. I need an assistant. Oh, look how pretty that is. I mean, it's just pretty. That is just a very, very, very pretty drink. And yep, I just used the knife to stir. Because I threw the spoon in the sink and I am not going to use a dirty spoon to stir any drink I'm going to be drinking. So let's see. Oh, look how shiny that is. My goodness. All right, 
Here's the moment of truth. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Wow. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. That's going to be kind of popular with the adults around here. All right. Well, that is Witcher's Brew. This is Turokami, and I hope you have a happy, safe Halloween, and go have some fun. Typically, when people think of witches, especially around Halloween time, there are typical things that cross our minds. Many people think of a cackling witch riding her broomstick through the night sky, mixing potions and cauldrons, cursing others, making deals with the devil with her warts and all. And that's what the Christian church in Hollywood has portrayed for many, many, many years. But the truth of the matter is that it's actually quite dark and honestly depressing. In fact, there were many people that were persecuted simply for believing in different things than others did in the past. Many early witches were those who used magic or nature to call upon the spirits and for healing. They were those that would make potions or poultices using nature itself for simply being a natural healer and not going with the societal norms. This is Turtle Kami, and welcome to Pixel Gamer Girl's Halloween treat section of her 31 Days of Halloween. I am going to show you how to make monster cookies, and I'm going to start way over here with, <laughs> yeah, you can see all the ingredients, um, the margarine. I'm using margarine. Um, you can use butter, but you need two cups, which is four sticks. I'm making a double recipe. Um, four sticks of butter or margarine. I'm using Imperial. Um, I like soft baked cookies, so margarine gives you a nice soft baked cookie. I got four and a half cups of flour. I got four cups of vanilla. Excuse me, four cups, oh my goodness. Four teaspoons of vanilla. Four cups, my goodness. Um, even, you know, anyways. Um, two teaspoons of vanilla. I can't believe I said that. Um, a cup and a half of packed, um, brown sugar, this is light brown sugar, and then a cup and a half of regular sugar. I have four eggs, I have a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda, and then lots and lots and lots of sweets. So I'll go through all of them. I got a uh, fourth a cup of um, ooh, uh, butterfingers, I have a half a cup of walnuts and hazelnuts, I have a half a cup of mini, and I do mean mini, m and I have semi-sweet, a fourth a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I have, a semi <laughs> I have a half a cup of caramel chocolate chips. I have a half a cup of um, milk chocolate uh, chips. I have raisins. I have a half a cup of that because they're yummy in monster cookies. And then there is an entire cup of oatmeal, um, the nice old-fashioned oat oatmeals. And that goes through all the ingredients. Uh, tools you'll need is a baking sheet or several, uh, a stove, clearly. Um, <laughs> this little handy tool, which is actually an ice cream scoop. This is a inch um, ice cream scoop, or you can use spoons to make little balls of the dough. Uh, baking sheet, cooling rack, and a spatula to get it off your pan. Um, also baking spray if you do not trust your baking sheets, but I have baking sheets solely for cookies. <laughs> That's how much cookies I make. So I'm going to go mix this all up because you don't need to see a turtle struggle to put all this together. All right, be back. Little out of note, I always forget. Um, best to, which it, it matters, but it doesn't matter. Um, baking is a science, but not that much of a science. I mean, it, it, yes and no, it's debatable. Um, I always like mixing my dry ingredients versus my white, but I have made cookies where everything was just mixed all together. It's just more consistent, more smooth kind of cookie, fluffier cookie. So I just wanted to add that before I ended up putting all the, this is a big bowl, um, putting the wet ingredients in, but yeah. It's getting there. Now, let's say if I'm tall enough to crack an egg one-handed without getting the shells in there. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm doing good so far. I got two more eggs, so let's uh, cross my fingers. Oh, come on. Believe it or not, it takes a lot of pressure to crack an egg one handed without like making it smush in your hand. And last egg. That one wasn't as graceful as the other one. And the mixing continues along with the butter. Now this is going to be the trick. I can't believe I'm doing this right handed. I am impressed by the skill of my right hand. Ooh, this stuff. Oh, also make sure your butter is room temperature, nice and soft. I mean, you can see how soft that butter is. Like, now I'm going to struggle to mix this because <laughs> I cannot mix one handed. Alrighty, I'm all mixed up. And you want to mix it until it looks like, well, <laughs> dough. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. But it should be this nice, um, pale. If you use darker brown sugar, it would look darker. And now we get to do the really satisfying thing and hopefully get this all in. <sighs> that is a lot of sh Huh. I'm going to sweet tooth just looking at it. But now you just mix it all in there. And once you mix it all in, um, you bake it at 350 for it's 12 to 14 minutes. Um, if you're using double rack, double rack. Um, cookie sheets you want to rotate at six minutes and then again at seven minutes um, so put it in for six minutes and then when that goes off put it in for seven minutes but make sure you take your top rack put it on the bottom and put your bottom rack on on blah, 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 blah. take your top rack and put it on the bottom and put your bottom rack on the top there you go just like say what I was trying to explain that is weird um, the reason why you do this is so you get a consistent bake, and yes, it does make a difference because if you don't, because of how sto most stoves are made, you will get a very, very, very uh, undercooked um, cookie on the bottom and a very, very burnt cookie on the top. So you want to um, divide your time and um, rotate it. So, but if you're doing single, just uh, 12 to 14 minutes for a single rack. Um, and usually about, about 12 cookies per bit. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I might be a little zoomed in. Sorry, I told you to hold the bowl and mix all these wonderful ingredients. See, I got so much more to mix in. But yeah, it's going to look like this. I get a bit more mixing to do, which, believe it or not, is exhausting to do one handed. And then once you've got it all mixed up and it's all yummy, you're going to take your scoop or your double spoons. Um, after you let it rest, just so you know, because that also makes a difference. You want to have your cookie dough cold. So put it in your refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and then you can do this step, which is basically just scoop, pack scoop, and that is the size of your cookie. And believe it or not, this will actually poof out quite a bit, and it will actually be as big as my hand instead of this little tiny goop. And that is very sticky. So I'll be back. All right, the monster cookies are looking great and they are all done. Had to do a little adjusting on the temp and um, um, <laughs> apparently they're popular. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> How are they? Are they yummy? Yeah. <laughs> they're monster cookies. Can you get, can, no. <laughs> I think it's all too. Yeah. Can you guys say happy Halloween? <laughs> All right, little time adjustment. Uh, they took a little longer, so I had to bump it to seven minutes twice for rotating, but they look amazing. And do they taste amazing? 
Uh huh. Really? You guys are there? Are there? There? Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> they can't talk. Their mouths are full. <laughs> All right. Happy Halloween and follow Pixel Gamer Girl and I see more of her cookie, cookie. Other other cooking treats. Can you guys say Happy Halloween again? Happy Halloween. <laughs>
stretch. Alrighty, let's see if I can do this. Oh, shaky hands, shaky hands, shaky hands. Voila, hey, <laughs> I did it, yay. Anyways, you can see already that the vodka is already pulling the colors from the Skittles. So in 24 hours, we'll let them sit in the refrigerator and then strain them. And then I'll have my Skittle vodka. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed and have fun. Support my pixel girl and I'll see you later. More on shaky cam. Bye. And on to the last, no, second to last one. This one. Oh, strawberry. Yum, 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 yum. I'm trying to loosen the sugar a little bit because that stuff is just kind of cooked to the bottom, I think. Oh my goodness, I cannot. <laughs> oh, I hope I got that sound. It sounded so juicy. Very, very fitting for Halloween having all these goopy sound effects. Oh my goodness. All right, on to the last color. Oh. All right, on to the orange. On to the orange. It smells so good. It's like really, really orange. Oh my goodness. It smells amazing. Like, ah, oh, smell, it smells wonderful. It did a really good job. I mean, look, they're like half the size of a normal Skittle. Oh my goodness. All right, on to the next color. Oh, that smells like my, my kitchen smells like orange. That was amazing. Okay, now for the lemon. That was lime. Yay, dyslexia. And <laughs> that, that just sounded charming. There we go. It actually kind of came out. But yep, that doesn't take much to strain it. But look at all that sugar left behind. Oh, my goodness. So, yep. I'm kind of scared to like push the ad, but I'm not pushing down on it. That is super sticky. All right, on to the next color. Okay, it's actually been sitting for almost two days, but it is time to drain the Skittle vodka, which it's pretty, <laughs> it dissolved quite a bit. So let's see. So this is a funnel cheesecloth, and I put a little tape at the bottom. I'm not worried about it touching the juice because it's not gonna go that far. But this is just to get all the hard candy bits. And... Wow, you can see all that sugar. <laughs> might, it might get a sweet tooth. It's like, it's actually kind of cool how it like gets solidified at the bottom. And it actually smells very lemony. So, that one's done. And I have to change my cheesecloth because that was <laughs> it very much stained the cheesecloth and I don't want the colors to bleed. So time to reset. Okay, I got my bro. You pick the color. Which one do you want to try? You want to get to snort these? <laughs> You're not. That's disturbing. <laughs> Think PG. <laughs> All right, he took that one. I'm gonna take this one. All right, cheers. All right, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Apparently my bro is a, a lightweight. <laughs> no, it's just, it has a weird flair. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> No, yep, you. so <laughs> that was actually kind of yummy. No, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it so, has... scale one to ten, what do you think? Eight. Eight? It just has that weird flair. Hmm, oh, I think that's the vodka. The, no, the nose flair. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a seven. I think it'd be really good with a mix. Yeah. So, thanks. All right. <laughs> Apparently, my sprite had an issue or wanted to say something. So, after doing a little research, I also found out that you can actually cocktail it, which they have many, many recipes. They all look super yummy, but oh, that foam, look at that. It is, it is now officially a witch's brew, which is the next drink I'm going to make along with 
um, monster cookies. So I hope you come in. Oh my goodness, that looks so weird. Uh, I'm so scared of drinking it now. <laughs> now that's just the carbonation and the sugar colliding. But it looks, it looks so gross, which I guess is fitting for Halloween. But these um, Skittle Vodka, come to find out, that make for really good mixing bases. Mm. All right. Yeah, definitely add some Sprite to, to loosen it up. Because, wow, that is strong. I mean, it's yummy, but it's strong. All right, this is Turtle Kami, and I hope you enjoy my little weird witch's brew of Skittles and vodka. So go have fun with your favorite witch or witches and uh, drink responsibly, play responsibly, and have a happy, wonderful Halloween.